Okay, so guys, a uh, new video, new watch alert, as you can see from the title. I bought recently the Rolex Daytona stainless steel. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? And do you know what's crazy is I went to make a video about this watch months ago and I thought I'd made it and posted it, but I guess I never did. And so here I am now making it again. I want to tell you about how I got the watch because this is like, for a lot of people, still Rolex Daytona. It's like the Holy Grail from the AD. And um, I've got the black dial. I think the white dial is more, slightly more popular. And I think I do actually slightly more prefer the white dial now. I used to prefer this one, but, and I love this watch, so I don't want to complain about it. Um, but I think the white dial is better. But that's not the one I was offered. I was offered this one, so I bit their hand off. Um, and I want to tell you a little bit about that um, and talk to you, obviously, about this watch because for a lot of people, this is the perfect watch. It's a great size. It's a great look. The history, the heritage, Paul Newman, all that stuff is fantastic. So basically, it was... I bought this December last year. So I've had it now, what we're in right now, we're in August. So I've had it eight, nine months. I really do enjoy it and I've been wearing it a lot. So how did it come about? Guess what? I didn't even, it's gonna, I didn't even ask for this watch. I did not ask for it. But when you like have a relationship with an AD because you've perhaps bought three, four, five, six watches from them, seven, eight, you know, I, I, I have to calculate how many I've bought, but it's probably like seven, eight. Um, then this this is what can happen. You can get the phone call for the stainless steel Daytona. What happened is, and I think this, I'll be fully honest with you, I, beat, I bought a piece of jewellery a few weeks earlier. And I think buying that piece of jewellery really just helped tipped me over the edge with getting this piece. These ADs, their profit margins on jewellery are higher than watches and stuff. So when you buy a piece of jewellery, you are really, you're the customer that they like, let's put it like that. And I sort of knew like, hmm, you know, if I buy a piece of jewellery, I need to get the missus something for Christmas anyway, why not just get a piece of jewellery from the AD? Just to, uh, why not just tell you everything? The piece of jewellery I bought, cost about four thousand pounds so it's a reasonably solid piece of jewelry you know it's not i didn't just spend 600 quid you know i, I spent a fair bit just to help you guys understand what it took because it's it's not like it's not like i just bought two watches from them and then got off with the daytona it, it took quite a bit more than that so yeah, I bought her a, um, a, a diamond uh, diamond bracelet. Uh, I think they call it like a tennis bracelet, diamond tennis bracelet, because it has the sort of diamonds all the way around it. Anyway, it came to like 4,000. A crazy story. Two weeks after buying it, she traveled on a plane. And when she landed at her destination, the bracelet was no longer on her wrist. I, I couldn't believe it. The bracelet was no longer on her wrist. and. We, we don't even know what happened, whether she took it off going through security and lost it, or I think what happened is it just popped. The clasp was something a little bit not quite right with it. In hindsight, at the time I thought everything was fine, but I think maybe she put it on, but it didn't fully click in or something, and it's just popped off. She has a selfie video with her and, and the kids on the plane. So she sent it to me like, look at me struggling type thing. And in that video, the bracelet, I can't remember the bracelets, he, it's not there in the video so she must have lost it some point between me dropping her off at the airport and then her being on the plane anyway I, I, we're here about to talk about the watch but luckily she was insured and we got the money back through the insurance company the jewelers the place where we bought the watch the ad they replaced the bracelet and they actually took it to the goldsmith to get an extra sort of uh, these extra two sort of safety clips that uh, just will make the bracelet more secure. So she now has the new replacement and she's had that since and hasn't lost that. So anyway, that I feel like helped get me 
the watch. Now, the guy that I deal with at the AD, he said to my friend who also deals with him, he said him getting the Daytona, as in me getting the Daytona, it, it wasn't even him who sort of sorted it out for me. He said like the call came from head office saying that customer of yours, he can be allocated a still Daytona. So I think it depends from AD to AD, but there is a bit of uh, politics in some ADs and other ADs, it's, it's more controlled by head office and they, from your spend, determine who gets what when it comes to the very desirable stainless steel pieces like the Daytonas, the Pepsis, those ones. Other sports models, I'm sure head office aren't too concerned about who gets those. But anyway, enough of that about the watch. So as you know, this is for timing cars going round a speed raceway at the Daytona uh, so you've got your reset uh, yeah your start stop reset things here um, and then the chronos are the uh, are measure the time so when you're measuring time the second hand measuring the time that they're going and the actual second hand for the watch is one of these sub dials here so let's give that a wind Just one two three four do about 20 winds and that gets it charged up these mechanical watches, they are amazing. Uh, so we do that, and then we'll fasten it back down. Then, if you unwind the pushers, you've got your start, stop, and you've got your reset. So we'll see the second hand start to move. I'm just going to turn that slightly. Okay, so, sorry if it's hard to see because of the uh, sun going through the leaves and the trees, but start. Boom. And now you see the second hand moving. There you go. You can see it quite clearly there. Boom, boom, boom. Moving, 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 moving. Stop. Boom. And then here, reset. And it jumps back right now. And then when you finish doing what you're doing, you've got to make sure you put these back down. A lot of you know this anyway, so yeah. If you go in the water with these not fastened down, you're going to uh, water will get it through those gaps. That is one negative about the watch is that in Dubai, I was wearing it a lot and I'm always a little bit paranoid that these things aren't fastened down properly because it is it is waterproof uh, to at least 100 meters, but it's not a submariner that's built for the water as such. So you just want to make sure these pushers are fastened down. But, you know, I haven't had any problems, um, but it's more me being paranoid. Um, but yeah, it's, it really has, it's, it's smart, it's sporty, it's casual, it's, it's everything. You've got the polished middle bracelet here. You've got the brush steel to the side of it. That helps it make it look a little bit smarter. You've got the ceramic uh, bezel. So this is the, the new older models. Now, I got this model in December. And as we know from Watches and Wonders, the new one came out where it has the metal edge. I really like the new one. I wish I had the new one, but you know, this, is also, uh, this is also a very, very nice watch. So yeah, I mean, any questions, put them in the comments and I'll happily answer it. But um, yeah, this is, if you stick with the AD, the good things can happen. Yeah, I, and apologies, I've had this watch for eight, nine months and this is the first time getting around to doing a video. But, um, say la vie, life is busy. But this is, a, this is a hobby for me and it's fun sharing it with you. And, like subscribe and hope you have some more cool stuff to come in the future yeah those if you do write comments i do give stuff away and i select it from people who have put stuff in the comments um so when i buy stuff from rolex they sometimes give you like freebie stuff like a tie a hat aftershave and i think it'd be cool to give some of that stuff away just because it's a bit of fun and maybe i'll buy another omega moon watch and give that away uh, shout out to Sean who's won that. It's on its way to you, or maybe you've got it depending on when I post this video. But uh, really appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next one.